Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. In this video, I will tell you how to use our B series relay controller to configure the Wi Fi and the Ethernet. This is our 32 relay module. This is our package. We can open the package. And this is the controller. Controller and uh, technique support and uh, the user menu and uh, how to why and uh, in different different module and uh, this is uh, application for Android phone and mobile phone and for the local network use or internet cloud server version to use. And also, this is online guide. And this is the power supply. This power supply we will send to you according to your power stand. This is EU for Europe stand. If you have, uh, if you in other countries, we will use the corresponding power supply to you. And the Wi-Fi antenna. And this is for ding wheel. This is installed on the back of this, and this when installed on the ding wheel, we use these two parts. Okay, the first stop we need to install the Wi-Fi antenna. The first step, we install the Wi-Fi antenna and we connect this network cable. And the power, su power supply, DC 12 voltage. Okay, the re red LED, the power LED will be on. And this is connected to your load and your computer also connected to your load. Now you can see the Beside the Ethernet port, there is the blue and the red LED. The red LED is the power, and the blue means the Ethernet is connected to cloud server by UDP work mode. Now the hardware is ready. Now we will use the software to configure the Ethernet or the Wi-Fi SSID and the password. You can see this user guide on this page. So when you connect the network cable, you can use this The first step is do this. We can use uh, the network IP scan software, or you can also log in your load. So like, I have logged in my load. Okay, this is my load, and I can see this view list. And this is KC868 device. This device is our relay controller. So this is the IP. This IP is we have found. Uh, if you can't log in your load, or you maybe in your office or in your company, you have can't use the load. So we can also use this uh, IP scan software. I have already downloaded. Uh, you can open this, open this software, uh, just this. You can press the scan, so it will auto scan this network You can find the listing is scanned in the network uh, what device you have found. Okay, we have seen this uh, is our device and this is the name. Maybe you have seen these words. Uh, this word is the manufacturer of the internet chip we have used. Uh, if you have this, have seen these words, also is our device. So we can see this IP. Is 192.168.1.232 you just input this IP okay you can open this website 
This website is our config for Ethernet setting and the Wi-Fi setting. So in before all the product, we use VCon running on the Windows PC to set the network of, of the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi. So begin the B series product use new technology. You will never use VCon again. Uh, this is our firmware version. Is the really control firmware version? And this is the port. And this is default is DHCP. And this is UDP. And this is our cloud server IP and Part. So this means the Ethernet have set the work mode to the UDP and connect to our cloud server. You can also change change to TCP server. If you want to use the Kbox application without the internet, you can control in your local network. So you can choose the TCP server. If you are a software engineer, you want to the relay control connect to your own server. So you can choose the TCP client then input your own server, IP and the part. So in this way, we have changed to the UDP, just to connect to our cloud server. And this is a Wi-Fi setting. If you want to use the Wi-Fi, you can set all these uh, settings according to load information. This is AP, AP mode, we can change to STA, just means station. And this is the load. So to offer your SSID, you can see this is my load. This is Wi-Fi signal. This is SSID and the authentication master and the encryption. Uh, we just set to this page SSID can connect. So you just set the SSID of your loads and this is WPA2, uh, this is just uh, like this, this more third. And uh, this is AES. Most load use AES, just like this. And uh, this is the password. Our password is this. OK. When we just set these settings for the load, we can press the save. If you also use the Wi-Fi connect to our cloud server. You just choose the UDP. We can press C. OK, about 10 seconds, you can restart of your relay controller. Then the relay controller will out connect to our cloud server by the Ethernet. Now we can repower on. You can see this is the Wi-Fi connected LD indicator. So this means the Wi-Fi have connected to your load successfully. This LD is for Ethernet, and this LD indicate is for the Wi-Fi. So now the blue LD on means the relay controller have connected to our cloud server by the Ethernet cable, because when I power on, the Ethernet have connected. So the default is by the Ethernet way. If the Ethernet is cut down, or broken, you can see like this is off, and this LD is on. So the real controller have changed the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi communication with our cloud server right now. So make sure the controller have stable connect to our cloud server. If I also connect to network cable again. Uh, when the Wi-Fi is broken or the Wi-Fi signal is bad, it will auto change to the internet. So this is two communication way. Make sure the controller is stable to connect to our cloud server. Now we have opened the web page again. You can see this information SSID and the encryption and the password have already configured successfully. And if you want to uh, run Ethernet uh, work for cloud server, and this is a Wi-Fi work for Kbox in your local network with, without internet, you can just set to the TCP server. Which one is set to TCP server just according to you? Uh, you can change Ethernet for TCP server, or Wi-Fi to UDP, or Wi-Fi to 
TCP server or Ethernet to UDP, just up to you. So you can use two applications at the same time. Uh, without internet, you can use. If you have internet, you can remote country also can use. So it's easy. And uh, just change all settings on this website. OK, this is our how to use IP scan software or logic in your route to see the continuous IP to logic on the website to configure Ethernet and Wi-Fi. It's very easy. But sometimes your relay controller IP is not as thin as your load network. Or you maybe have some special IP address of the load. So it can't detect the IP address. So I think you can use this function. You can this uh, you can press hold on the work mode and when the yellow and the white LED is on or is on, then you remove the finger. So the controller will offset the work mode to UDP and the IP work mode is DHCP. Uh, this can reset the controller for DHCP. And if also you can't find the IP, you can use this step. You can hold on the work mode button. When the yellow, white, and the blue LD all is on, then you remove the finger. And this time, the controller will default set to TCP server. And this is static IP, uh, 192.168.1.2. Zero, zero. Uh, this is a static IP, it's fixed. So you can use your computer, connect to the relay controller, use a network cable, C85 cable directly, and set your computer's IP address in a static mode. So when your controller default IP is this, uh, you can set your PC IP as this. For example, just three number is seen. The first three number is seen. So you can use the IP scan software, you can find the relay controller easily. When you scan the relay controller, you can open your browser and log in and change your settings for your loads. You can set the static IP uh, for your loads can be uh, scanned. So it will be easy for the controller uh, suitable for different network.